Right, so when last we left off, there are now gelatinous cubes, and I don't know what those necessarily do. This adorable game. I imagine I get stuck inside of them. That looks like a breaks your attack. I want to touch that. Excellent shot, me. Excellent shot. Get out of here, cube. Just has stuff inside of it. Cleansed. Oh, it like slows me down. Creedmore! What is going on? Why the away scream? I was peeing. Uh, we had a poll and chat overwhelmingly decided we should play more round guard. I was curious to see more of this. <clears throat> I wanted to keep on fighting that final boss, but... I understand that no one else wants to watch a long, drawn-out boss fight several more times. I understand. Oh, it definitely has the aesthetic. I want a new weapon. No, new weapon! Grr, frog it out! Alright, well, new skill is fine. If you've ever seen a game called Peggle, this game is very much like Peggle. It's just Peggle with roguelike elements, and I really like Peggle, it's a game I played a lot of. Bubble up nearby enemies, bubbles deal 11 damage when they burst, 11 more per bounce. Alright, bubble spray was fun when we had it before, this is just a better version of it. But honestly, I like our will-o'-wisps, because they synergize well with another element of our builds. And I like the frog, so I'm just gonna sell this. And, uh, obviously I want a new weapon, so I'm gonna go that way. Obviously I'm going to fuck it up dramatically, but then I'll just use a, a frog. No! Get in there, good lord. Well, that ass last act was a doozy, wasn't it? And the next part's even better, but first it's time to see that gold. Oh, it's very Peggle-esque. Incredibly Peggle-esque. Oh, I've never seen a better performance! Not in the last hour, at least. Well, then it's time to spin the Wheel of Wonders! Eyedropper of Endless Mana. Permanent, plus 10 mana at the start of each room. I'll equip it. You've never seen nor played Peggle. Uh, Peggle was... Like, you're familiar with, uh, Plinko, right? Like, you drop the thing, bounces on pegs. It takes that, but, like, when you hit things, it destroys the things, and you're trying to destroy all the items in an area. It's very much just like a cutesy, unicorn-themed, addictive, time-waster kind of game. Like, it was very, like, flashy, but no substance, but I thought it was just, like, a really fun thing to do when I was bored. Uh, and this game takes that same element that I like, and adds, like, the roguelike bits. You ever play Relic Hunters? I have not played Relic Hunters. Other people were recommending that to me as well, but I haven't looked at it. Uh, I never actually knew if Peggle was a mobile game. It was a Steam game, so I played it on Steam, and before it was on Steam, it was on, um... Oh my god, Game Spy, if you remember Game Spy. Like, the proto version of Peggle was on Game Spy. Hi, Fizz, still at it, I see. Yes, I'm still at it. I truly am at it. What is it? Exploring the castle, silly! Ah, yes, the castle. I'm exploring a lot of it, truly. Well, keep up the good work and, uh, take my lucky bookmark. Don't want to lose your place, do you? Haha. <laughs> oh, for me? Plus 10 mana at the start of each room. I mean, I use a lot of mana. I have 102 out of 101. Not sure how that works. Alright, they're all weapons. Middle one seems like the best one. I don't really need anything in here. So we're gonna go for the... the 
Scarab. Gently launch myself in this corner. Come on, frog. You're supposed to help me out here. And I hit it. With the scarab. God damn it, I can't bounce off the wall. Nope, can't bounce off the wall. I just go up. You did your best, frog. Oh good, it was active. Yes, give me all the money. New wand. Plus six shock. 32 attack. Yeah. I'll certainly equip that. Alright, let me see. If I go to the right, I can get... You know, either way gets me to a skill book. So in that case, it's really just, can I get a little bit more treasure before I leave? Oh, out of mana. Just gonna gently enter this tube. Do 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 do. That star symbol means invulnerable. Someone who is invulnerable can't take any damage, obviously. There's usually a catchy jingle with it too, but there doesn't seem to be one in this game. Licensing reasons, perhaps? All right, so he is holding a star. And I want that treasure chest. I'm gonna use my frog to handle the treasure chest. This is a genre game you can't help but feel a weird contempt for, which is probably not being fair. I mean, yeah, I'd say that's not being fair. Like, if you immediately just like, I don't like it because it looks like a mobile game. That seems like it's largely unfair. Some game genres just lend themselves well to the mobile market. Like, this is a game that would work because you just point, click, and you go. But it exists not just as a mobile game. I actually don't even know if this is a mobile game. The developer sent me a key and said it was available on PC. They didn't mention anything else. Wait. You can't help but feel uneasy about something on display here, but you don't have the power to articulate that well. What's on display, though? I am very curious. He's nuts! Very good. Excellent work. Toss 30 frogs. 25% chance for an additional frog to come out when you toss a frog. Obviously. Again, I'm trying to synergize around lightning and frog. A weird sentence to be sure. Doesn't help that I have very little idea of what's actually going on. Graphically sound-wise... It's Peggle, but D&D and roguelike. But, to help Pope pile it out, I will explain the game a little bit. So, uh, the bits that you probably picked up on is it is... You aim, you release, and it's a physics-driven game. All of the things that aren't enemies have treasure or debuffs that you want to avoid. Like, this thing right here is poison. Don't want to hit the poison. Uh, health will heal you. Blue orbs will restore your mana. I have two abilities that consume mana. And I have a base attack of 43, and that's when I hit an enemy. I take damage from enemies when I hit them. So that's like what's immediately on the screen. What's not as apparent is my equipment. So as you play the game, you have a weapon, you have armor, you have two abilities, and you have a... I don't know if there's a limit to it. There might be an unlimited amount of trinkets. Trinkets are kind of like things you pick up in roguelikes. You know, they're relics in Wizard of Legends, their abilities and other things in Binding of Isaac. So I'm building a synergy around applying shock when I hit stuff and additional shock when I use my Will-O-Wisp ability. And shock does damage in between every launch of my catapult. So if I apply shock, much like Slay the Spire with poison, at the end of my turn, I'll do that shock damage. Uh, frogs explode, and they bounce around, and they apply poison. 
and I'm synergizing with those two things. I'm electric frog build is my build at the moment. So those are my primary equipments. And then trinkets, I can get a bunch of those. And those do things like extra chance to launch additional frogs, additional mana, better attack for certain enemy types. So it plays less, uh, like a roguelike, but with the... So Slay the Spire, card game with roguelike elements. Binding of Isaac, Zelda S Dungeon Crawler with roguelike elements. Like, there's always a genre and then you apply the roguelike bits. This genre is Peggle. Peggle, of course, does lend itself very well to the mobile game experience just by virtue of its control scheme and what you're doing. It is definitely geared toward a younger audience, as evidenced by the children laughing sound effects they use. But that never stops me from enjoying games. I play shit for older people, younger people, my age. I don't give a shit, as long as I have fun. Alright. Attack of plus 10. Garbage attack rate, though. My attack is 32. Bubble the nearest enemy when a potion is smashed. Bubbles deal 13 damage, plus 40 attack while poisoned. So you can definitely synergize with that, but not for what I'm doing. So we're just gonna sell that for money. And then... I'll heal up a little before we leave. I missed. Excellent work. Just get in there. Going. It's that one game you installed for your Nana. Pop a pair or something. What? You've worked on Facebook and mobile games, and this doesn't trigger you the same way? Because... So, I understand what Popeyon is saying, where, like, it has that mobile game feel to it. But an aesthetic is not the same thing as a mobile game for me. Like, mobile game, if you want to use that in a derogatory kind of sense, it needs to have the, like, trash game feel. It needs to feel cheap. Not look cheap, but feel cheap. Because I could understand if someone's like, hey, we're gonna make a game, unfortunately we can't afford an artist, can you draw? Like, the game will look like crap, but... If we have good programmers and good fucking designers, like people that understand like game feel and mechanics and what feels good, like West of Loathing, that game looks like trash. <laughs> like it looks like a bunch of crayon drawings and pencil drawings, but the game is fun because the people that made it understand how to make a game that feels good to play. Are there any micro payments tucked away? No, this game is a full experience, there are no micropayments, there isn't even like a built-in store, you can't buy anything in this game other than buying the game itself. So like, I understand, the game has clearly childish music that feels like it's, you know, free music, uh, royalty-free music, but like, none of that matters to me, like, I don't care if it sounds cheap and looks cheap, I care that it's fun to play. And, like, this kind of stuff appeals to younger audience. Like, this is a game that I would totally be like, hey, younger siblings, or hey, my nephews, like, you should play this game. You would really like it. My grandma would like this game. I like this game. Oh, it's my big scary adventure. I'm so happy to see you again. Come, come, sit in grandmommy's lap. I'll tell you a story. That sounds fun, but I think I should clear the air about something. Oh, uh, what is that, dearie? I, uh, really am an adventurer. What? How dare you with an old auger? <laughs> Toy with an old auger's heart like that. Get over here, I'm gonna teach you the ultimate life lesson. <laughs> yeah, like, the game is cute, and I think, like, you're largely fixating on the cute element. Like, I've certainly played cuter games than this. Ads, micropayments, energy mechanics, they could all go fuck themselves. Exactly. Like, if it had any of that, I would be right with Pope Pilot and saying, like, oh, this is a trash mobile game. But it doesn't have the actual elements of a mobile game that infuriate me. Like, we we played that, um, that Souls-like mobile game, and that one, like, bugged me because it didn't play well. Like, it didn't feel good. If you talk about mobile games, you mean it 100% as a negative. I understand that that impulse, but I've played mobile games that are built exclusively for phone that I've liked. Um, Shotgun Fishing, I think it's called. There's a game from uh, a developer that usually makes PC games that made a mobile game that I, I enjoy a lot. It's a fishing game where you just like whip up a bunch of fish and shoot them with different guns, and it's 100% made from mobile. 
It just doesn't have the garbage mobile bits. Like, it doesn't have micro payments. It doesn't have energy mechanics. And, like, as a developer, they even said, like, we're gonna make a mobile game that we would like to play. Like, we don't want to make a mobile game. We want to make a game that is on a mobile platform that's fun to play. And I respected that. It's good, it's fun to play. Like, they made a good mobile game. I'm... It's either Devolver Digital or... I'm trying to remember their other... their, their name. My will o wisp hat and obliterate grandma over here. You don't like using it for a gaming experience? The other one's Klee? No, no, hold on. I'm trying to remember the name of the game. It's like Extreme Fishing or something. I'm gonna look this up real quick. Extreme Fishing. Damn. No, that's an actual TV show, Extreme Fishing. Clay. Right, right, Clay is the pronunciation. Hold on here. Might as well take my turn. Well, she's dead. Let's bounce off her head. stupid game. It's in my phone somewhere. There's a huge swath of games that are not meant for players. Yeah, they're just meant for profits for the most part. I'm so bad at seeing where my mouse player is. Damn it. That's right, this is a new phone, so of course it's not gonna be where it usually is. Achievement unlocked, disobedient. Again, it always depends on what the game is. Like, Angry Birds is a great example of a game that feels good to play on the phone because, like, that's a control scheme that works super well for that particular game. Giants are always weakened. Equip. You enjoy the phone as a control device? Again, it, it always... It's about what the controls are supposed to be. I'll never want to play a normal D-pad buttons experience on a phone. That's no good. I don't like that. Angry Birds can go fuck themselves? I'm not saying Angry Birds is a good game. I'm just saying, like, that control system for the phone makes a lot of sense. Um, fishing... Mobile... Game... Revolver. It's gonna drive me insane. It's not Devolver, it's the other one. Crush the Castle ripoff. Oh, yes. All mobile games are usually a ripoff of something. Not, not excusing that, I'm just saying. I don't think it was Dodge Roll. It's a company I like, they make good games, I'm just really spacing on the name of their company right now. You know what? Shotgun. Fishing. Mobile. <laughs> game. Really all I have to do is go in there and it's the only game I've ever purchased as a mobile game. Ridiculous fishing. All right, ridiculous fishing. Vlambeer! It's Vlambeer. Vlambeer made ridiculous fishing. There we go. It's like, it's a company I like. They make good PC games. I can't remember what their fucking name is. It's Vlambeer. Thank you. Random search terms. Can I nail this guy with just one frog? Nope. Yeah, Vlambeer made Nuclear Throne, they made, um... Luftrauser. 
They made a bunch of fun games that I like. Uh, I can't remember if they're the ones... They made Super Crate Box. I think they made, um... Something Something's Profit Hike. I can't remember the guy's name. Like, they make a lot of fun games. And they were like, hey, we're gonna make a mobile game. It's gonna be a good game. And I like that. It's a good game. They're, they're silly fishing game. Radical Fishing is the name of it. Toss a frog forward and yourself back. Frogs explode. I already have this. It's just a leveled up version of it. So, uh, yeah, equip it. Replace my other pocket frog. Oh no, screw that. Full mana at the start of each room. I forgot that this is an epic version. I could double up on frogs. Nah, it's just out. Angry Birds developers failed like a dozen projects for Angry Birds. They're on the edge of collapse. When they released that game, it started acting like they were a hot shit. And now they have a garbage movie. Uh, boss fights or go sh You know, let's get. <sighs> he likes phone games and fishing. It's a fun game. Like, the, the play style is you try and let your hook go as low as possible in the ocean, and then on the way back up, you try and catch as many fish on the hook as possible. It launches them all into the sky, and then you shoot them with guns. Like, that's that's the play style. Has a good sense of humor, like most of the Vlambeer products tend to. So the frogs behave like mini versions of me, so I could use them to get additional wealth. And since this epic version a restores my mana fully, at the start of each level. It is just a worthwhile venture on my part. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so much goddamn gold from this. The only thing this game doesn't do that uh, Peggle did is it would play O Fortuna when you're about to finish a level, and that always felt really good. Oh my god. Oh baby. Equip it. It's just a better version of my Will-O-Wisps. And he likes shooting. It has everything your dad likes. It's one of the only, like, games that are made as a mobile experience on the phone that I actually legit think is a fun game to play on the phone. Although if this were on my phone, I would also enjoy playing this on my phone. Let's be serious. Another hero. Uh, hero life is just one quest after another. The princess is always another castle. Doesn't it all feel like just one endless loop? I mean, have I already said this exact same thing to you? I can't even tell anymore. Oh, not again. I'm getting out of here. Alright, chance to double strike. Alright, I want to frog this gentleman. And will o -Wisp as well. Oh my god. Oh, brutal. More will o -Wisp, please. Get back up there. What is wrong with that? Slime. Does it have NASCAR too? Then he'll really like it. Alright, between me and that frog, one of us might hit the last enemy. It looks like it'll be me. Got him. That's the middle, the middle! Attack plus 10 mana when you attack an enemy. No. Like, it's great against enraged enemies, but that's too specific. And I'm gonna stick with my my particular setup. Alright, Beholder. What are you doing here in my castle? All here bound down to me. And those who don't are obliterated. Alright, buddy. As expected, each of the eyeballs appears to be something we could bump into. Sounds like I'm trolling you, but you know my dad and you know it's 100% accurate. Oh, I didn't think you were trolling at all. I know exactly that. That's 100% your dad's, like, jam. Might as well get this as well. I'm 
sorry, but you're gonna be a murdered immediately. I don't think I could even shock him anymore. And he's poisoned? Yeah, no, the first toss. One thing I will say about this game is I'm pretty sure this is made for children and children don't really think about synergies that much and because we are focusing heavily on being like synergistic I believe we are wildly overpowered now. Shielded for the first hit each turn. You have no idea what you've done! I had them all under control but now you've unleashed chaos! I'll be back and know this I'll be keeping all my eyes on you. Children gonna learn sometime. Act 3 this way. Yeah, I have very fond memories of of the early days of Steam, and again, like, GameSpy as well. Pre-Steam pre, pre -Steam with GameSpy, I played Peggle and a bunch of other, like, super weird, just indie-esque games. I can't remember who made Peggle. I remember it was, like, one of those, those silly, made-for-kids, casual game experience people. We should connect. It's all about connections, you know? <coughs> I'm growing my network and so should you. Take me for example. I'm interested in energy beams. Does anyone remember that the sound that made when you open it up? Welcome to GameSpy. Yeah, PopCat Games. Thank you, Thraxon. I remember it was like one of the major casual game experience people. Generating them, conducting them, killing people with them. Also, cross-platform data-driven market analysis. You're chopping onions and crying. Andrew wears a ski mask when, uh, ski goggles when he cuts onions. Yeah, early PopCat was a lot of fun, and then EA bought them, and EA drove them into the earth. It's important to have a synergistic skill set. Like, their games were fun and casual, but they weren't predatory, and EA was like, oh, we can fix that. Defeat a Dark Elf Conductor on the first turn. Uh-oh, that googly-eyed beast wasn't just full of hot air. Looks like there's a new type of room, marked with a chaos symbol on the map. All sorts of monsters are fighting in there for control over the treasure. Who knows what you'll encounter, but I bet there'll be a good reward. Yeah, no, that was going to be very easy for me. Rex Vulcan is Lord of the Word. Hey, that's only supposed to be... Oh, right, that was redeemed, by the way. Uh, your word will be for... For Sunday. I already have one lined up. I fell behind because of a late late arrival on that word. But private message me the word, and we'll get that rolling. Can't beat him, by him. Yeah, that's how it works. Deal 15 damage to the nearest enemy when you use a skill. Well, again, a lot of overpowered synergies for what I'm doing. Oh, I want to go back up there. Yes, I knew I could kill them all. Oh, the spider! All of them must die. Oh, it's currently immune. Immune? Nah. Whatever. So I can't hit him at all. In that case, to the rat! Nope, in the water. Fine as a publisher, as a studio owner, not so much. It's true, they published the, the Jedi game that came out recently, and that was... fine. They didn't force in any, like, awful bits. Until I learned later on that, like... Because the game feels unfinished in a lot of ways. Like, it feels like, uh, instead of having a third act, they kind of cut out a bunch of third act and just shove the ending to the end of the second act. If it turns out they rush development, then I'll, I'll eat my words. Yeah, the shock was gonna get him. I want new armor. So I'm aiming for that.
All right, robe of static charge. Well, again, I'm wearing like epic rare robes, so health 135, not a big enough increase to get me going. Deal six shock to enemies nearby when you use a skill and throw a 33 damage dagger when you use a skill. All right, well, it turns out it's actually, it synergizes better than my current thing, so we are gonna wear it. I do additional damage to skeletons. Let's take the skeleton route. Oh, have I tried to break every single item in a stage yet? You know, I have not. Let's do that now. Let's try and break every last bit. What is that? Is, is this a summoning circle? Is something terrifying gonna happen soon? Like fast. Let's get some frogs out there. Frogs will help break everything, and they'll break some of the poisons for me so I don't get poisoned. It's interesting, like, it's the Peggle formula, but there are actual enemies in the world, and you're trying to kill them all. It changes your playstyle from try and break every single item to mostly focus on, like, damage output. The sound effects are also very Peggle-esque. Cleansed. All right, what we got? Obviously want to get that one. Launch myself a little bit. Whoops, I think I killed the last enemy on the stage. All right, it's up to the frogs now. Damn. Code of immunity. Nope. I'm gonna sell that. All right, we still have a little bit of time to try and uh, wrap up the level a little bit. Yes. A little bit higher. Gently. It's just that one. Come on. Yes! No, wait. It refills my mana when I leave, so... Damn it. I don't know, like, that's a debuff. I don't know if that would count as a thing I need to break. Alright, well, this would be super easy, because skeletons are pushovers for me. Right, get a frog out there. How do you get the unicorn skin? Uh, that's a, a Twitch Prime bundle item thing. Like, it's one of their, their giveaways. Oh my god, I'm clicking out of the window. Sorry about that. Stupid games. Ooh, I'm just sitting on someone's head. <laughs> Obliterate him using my passive ability. New weapon or new skill? I always want the middle, because it's better treasure. Ah, oh, whatever. Time for level 6, Slayer Gate. Ooh. 18, but 50% chance to apply 2 shock to the enemy nearest to each gold pot smashed. And 22 bleed. I mean... This is better with the shock and with the base damage. But that's every gold pot? There's a lot of gold pots. This could be better in the long run. We'll try it. Yeah, we're very close to getting more emotes. We're only like three subs away. Emote train keeps on chugging. All right, well, all of it's new armor, so it's all just treasure to me. 
Let's get some frogs out there. Oh no, I don't want to go down there. Yes, you're doing good work there, frogs. Yes, 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 in there, in that little corner. That's where we want to be. Perfect. <laughs> Just gently collecting a lot of treasure. So the scarab's active, that's gonna double whatever we're getting here. No, I don't want that one! I want the middle one! The middle one! There's no way I'm making it to the middle one. Wait. I take that back. We might be able to get closer to the middle. Nope. Wizard robes, health 225, immune to vulnerable. I mean, it's better. It's way better for defense, but... Again, I, I'm here for my lightning synergies. There we go. I'm curious about this map, actually. Who are you? Did that traitorous little Stilton Muncher send you? This rebellion is doomed, and so are you. Map, please. Alright, so we're almost to the heart. Like, we might as well just finish a full run, as opposed to switching in the middle. Get some frogs out there. battery, that's not enough battery, Will. Oh, my mana! You're just... Fuck! Alright, new accessory. I like that. percent attack, 20 percent, no, not 20 percent, 20 damage from the first enemy hit in each room. Laszlo, but his camp, he needs to be alive for his camp. That's right, I reference camp, Laszlo. Huh, your resub didn't pop up? Yeah, I didn't get an alert. Didn't even show up in chat. I'm just sitting on someone's head. Good, good quote edition. Oh, there it is. It just showed up. Aw, uh, thank you for your resubscription, but at tier two of all things, that actually raises a question. Hold on one second. Yeah, that's that's worth more sub points. We are one sub away from another emote. Any one sub will do it. Will push us over the edge. Thank you very much, Pope. Uh, we love you. Ermagerd. Yeah, we're still waiting to find out if we're gonna have like any additional pay after this. We were on paid leave up until uh, the Friday it just passed, now we don't know. We have to wait and see via email if we're going to continue to be paid. My guess is no. <laughs> That's where I'm guessing. I have money riding on no. And by money, I mean... No, I don't. There's no money. <laughs> Literally, I have no money riding on if it's going to be no or not. Exciting times! You're a dead man. You're a dead man, skeleton! Hmm, skill? I'm just gonna- I'm gonna let fate do it. The 
only got one day of your vet because of your work week? It should have been two weeks of, of paid leave because they closed the school and were allowed to do it for the two weeks that we were away. So you should have gotten your full two, two weeks of what days you would have worked. You were there on the 15th. Oh my god! Creedmore gifted a sub to Thraxen. They cut it off on Saturday. Hold on. 15th. So you worked on the 15th. You got... What about your Wednesday? Shouldn't you have gotten the 18th? The 22nd? And don't you work it on Monday? That does count. Thank you very much, Di uh, Creedmoor, for gifting Thraxon a sub. You just did it. You pushed us to 50 sub points. We have another emote slot now. Monday was last year. All right, so you should have gotten your Wednesday, the following, the follow-up Sunday, and then the next rollover week's worth. Cast a bolt from you to lightning bugs on the walls. Deal 17. All right, so we're back to lightning. I prefer the frogs and the will o wisp to be honest. 17 damage, oh my god, wait. 17 damage and 17 shock. But we're doing like 70 worth of lightning because of the seven wisps doing 10 each. So no, we're, we're better with what we have. We did it, praise. <clears throat> Axe boys are showing up in the Slayer Gate? Yeah, that's rough. Axe boys are hard. I want... Skeletons, honestly. Like, skeletons are better for our... our damage output. You're trying to use your Twitch Prime when you gift uh, got gifted? Save that Twitch Prime for next month. There you go. <laughs> There's no beast more majestic than a jelly cube, wouldn't you agree? I love watching them in the wild, stalking their prey. Deliberately, ever so slowly oozing over them. And they're surprisingly affectionate too once you name them. Tame them! You can tell by the look in your eye that you'd uh, make a good jelly trainer too. First and most important tool for any trainer's treats. Giants always carry the best ones. Giant appetites, I suppose. Go grab a pocketful and I'll let you in on the secrets of jelly training. Defeat four giants to find some treats. It was assigned at random. Interesting, is that really how those work? But there are no giants in this level. I feel betrayed. Oh my sweet lord, I got stuck! I need a health potion. I need a health potion. So bad! Frogs, please. There we go, good lord. I'm pretty sure it would've been game over had I hit the bottom. I got stuck in an awful little corner there. Alright, we're okay. We're fine. We're just fine. Got high roller out of that. That was a dangerous game we played. I want more health potion. Woo! You wish they would make it automatic? Yeah, it's it's weird that they don't allow the Twitch Prime subs to be automatic redemptions. It's kind of a bummer. Started from the bottom, now we're here, started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking here, started from the bottom, now we're here, started from the bottom, now the whole team here, started from the bottom. What are these lyrics? The whole team here. <laughs> If only, right? It'd be nice if they just let the auto thing go. No poison. No poison. Eat frog, motherfucker. Yeah, middle treasure. I said middle treasure. I will have this middle treasure. 
clicked out of the window. Ooh, teal. 150 health, 50% chance to evade enemies who have a status effect, throw a 37 damage dagger. Nope, mine are better. Let's sell those. Uh, let's see. Middle, straight to... Yeah, let's go middle. We've really put the hero's metal to the test, haven't we? Now it's time to test their metal, by which of course I mean let's see that pile of gold! Yeah, that's right. Truly riveting, a tour de force. I'm literally on the edge of my seat. Time to spin the wheel of wonders. I don't know what gold is going to be for. <laughs> like, do I unlock stuff at the end? Ooh, going for gold is the achievement we just got. Crystal statue of King Razzle Dazzle the fourth. Permanently blind a random enemy at the start of each room. Equip it. Goodness, I can't wait to see that in action. Thank you, intermission. That symbol means blinded. When someone's blinded, their attacks can easily be evaded, and their musical ability doubles. Scratch that last part, I made that up. Who's blind? That guy's blind. Get him, frog! Fire is hot, I can confirm. Oof. What happens? Maybe I do want new armor as opposed to my old stuff. Damage is getting pretty rough up here. There we go. <coughs> Level up. Yeah, the 17 poison is certainly not helping. Want that health? Alright, new armor is good. 125, double the amount of a shock whenever it is applied, plus 7 health when a potion is smashed. Deal 6 shocked enemies nearby when you use a skill. So I don't do my application, but I double whatever shock is there. So yeah, I'll go with that one. And it's better for healing, so that's probably a good idea. Oh, I need that heart. I need that health. Alright, that should do it. There we go, that's all I wanted. The fire I spat was very warm, it's true. I hate spring. Ah, wonderful, you're back. The first step is to get into the jelly cube mindset. The jelly cubes are always thinking about one thing and one thing only, food. And mine are starving, come on, it's feeding time. <laughs> no, you're supposed to help me. You are the chosen one. Get some frogs in there. Just launch them willy-nilly. They'll do fine work out there. What if the jelly cubes hurt me? Yep, that one applied bleed. That's less than ideal. And that one's poisoning me. Alright, this guy's fucked. Enjoy all of that shock damage. Alright, no healing potions left, but I healed up just because... The synergy of getting heals from any potion means all those mana potions the frogs broke. Basically fully healing. Jelly cubes only move when you fast forward. I don't even know how to fast forward. Didn't even know that was a mechanic in this game. Well, that was the wrong way. Not the poison. God damn it. 34 poison! 
I want the skeleton, but I'll take whatever. Sure. Unless these are giants, in which case I do want to go that way. I don't know what the symbols mean. Either that's gremlins or giants. Skeleton is! Good enough for me. Now we're doing book. Oh my god. Oh, that sound is the will-o'-wisps. That makes sense. Like, the child laugh is the sound effect of the will-o'-wisp being used. Yeah! Goodbye. S sperm level? Chris is confused. I wanna- I wanna leave this little nook I'm in. I'll take it. Middle treasures, more gold. I don't think it's gonna replace either of my skills though, unless it's really good. Nope, bubble spray is trash. Drop it. Usually they put water in those things. And then there's Spider, and then there's Final Boss, and that will be one full run of Round Guard. When she sees all my gold, she'll be so impressed. She'll be so happy. Who will be? Oh, no one. Well, not no one. Someone. Just someone. I think the someone will be happy to see the gold, and even happier to see you. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. Plus 10 max mana. Alright, all these are... Skills, doesn't matter which one I get. I'm just gonna release a whole bunch of frogs. And I mean all the frogs I could possibly release. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, nest frogs. A lot of you are dying because I released you in a bad area. That's my bad, frogs. That's my bad. Come on, get in there. Cast a bolt from you that does lightning. All right, right, cast a bolt from you to lightning bugs on the walls. Deals 21 damage and 21 shock. Additional mana. Ugh, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll replace the will The will has been treating me well, but it's time to see something new. Yeah, these frogs really let me down. I gotta say, they're not breaking the final like part of the pot. Is the problem? Wait a second. I want the middle one. I want the middle one real bad. Oh no! I screwed myself! Oh thanks, frogs. They finally got in there. Fine. Two spider fights. Whatever. Those poor frogs are trapped. They were. They were. Well. by a spider. And it's just you. Oh no, it's over. They're all dead. You came back? You piece of garbage. Is he ethereal? Suck on frog. Smooth landing. I like the lowest more than the lightning, but the lightning still does a lot of damage. Plus two mana when I- oh no, I think I'm gonna drop it immediately. Yeah, it's just a good for the dagger, otherwise it's trash. I'm here for lightning, baby. How's it going, Slubnir? <laughs> ah, so when you were a baby, did you shoot out sparks every time you sneezed? Must be a real pain raising a mage. Uh, I'm a wizard. What's the difference? A wizard is a magic user who gains arcane powers through extensive study, as opposed to a sorcerer who's born with their ability. Mage is an umbrella term. 
Umbrellas are for cowards, I never use them. Great, then don't use mage. Deal 100 shock damage in a single turn. <sighs> Maybe give me something hard to do. That had to have been 100 damage, right? A very nice D&D reference. Like I said, it's like, it's a D&D flavored Peggle roguelike thing. It's interesting and fun. All right, plus one, plus five mana when a potion is smashed. Unfortunately, like, I would like to upgrade my frog. Toss a frog forward and you and yourself backwards. Frog is split for 19 damage, 19 poison. 5% chance to throw an extra one. But the one I have gives me full mana at the start of every room, so we're gonna, gonna drop that. You thought he was modeling new emotes? I think he's just dancing. Oh, that's- I don't wanna go in there! Help, I'm inside! Can anyone hear me? Nope. I need assistance! Looks like we need to break the valves to get the 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 heart beast exposed. Deal yeah, hundred. There we go. I did a thousand three hundred and eighty. Twenty percent chance to make an enemy vulnerable when you shock them. Oh god. It's all very good synergies. I'm so sorry, Heart. This is gonna be rough for you. Sorry. Thank you, brave hero. You have saved me from a terrible fate and restored peace to the castle. Just recognize me? Everyone has to play their part, you know, wink wink. Now, honorable hero. For your valor and dedication to your kingdom, I will bestow upon you a most powerful relic of the Round Guard. But first. Show me the gold! This week's best golds. Man. I'm number seven for the week? Or wait, are, am I number one? No. No, it looks very close to me being number one. Who's number one? I want to see number one. This week's fewest turns, I'm number 34. Best time, I'm number 48. Fewest turns, number 34. Man. Number seven's not bad for this week's best golds. My scores, global, my best, top 10. Damn. I guess a day keeps the doctor away. Cheers, chat. Thanks for pushing us over the top for new emotes by hugging up with those sweet, sweet subs. Yes, thank you, everybody. We'll have to talk about the new emote. Winners get relics, that's my motto. That and stay sassy. The relic of clarity. You don't need health. You're young, you've got your mana. Well, I'll tuck that relic into the relics menu for you. You could check it out and maybe use it next time you start again. Thank you for putting on such a great show. But you know, the audience is never satisfied. Who will the next hero be? What will they find? Can the king possibly be that handsome? Back in your place, everyone. Let's get there. ready for the next show. Would I be interested in playing Black Mesa on stream? Of course, Half-Life is a watershed video game. It's important, and I like Half-Life quite a bit. I'd be interested to play a full recreation of it. All right, that was one full run of Round Guard. That game, like, it's it's cute, it's adorable, it's a lot of fun. Like, 
If this is on the phone, I would play this on my goddamn phone. I, I have no shame there. I would play it on my phone. And I'm gonna play it more on my computer. But it's a, it's a fun little roguelike. Oh, achievements opens to the Steam achievements, of course. I'm more curious about the relic thing. Zoom during turn, Ah, Lots of zoom, whoa! Yeah, whoa zoom. Auto fast tally, show player timer, turn on... Turn counter, controller rumble. Oh, I didn't even realize I had controller support. All right, that's round guide. This would be a poop lurk game for you, like something you play while you're pooping. It would be a good pooping game. This does mean I need to do another poll because <laughs> we have completed round guard. New poll. I gotta do a poll real quick. Ba da ba 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 da ba. Uh, ba da ba ba ba. Start the poll. All right, there's a poll for what to do for the final portions of uh, the stream here. We got two hours left. What do we want to do for two hours? We got Doom. We got Neo 2. We got Spin the Wheel of Stream. Dark Souls, oh, it says 2. Pretend that says 3. It's Dark Souls 3. I hit the wrong button. Not Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. <laughs> Don't be fooled! <laughs> Uh, and then Dreamscaper Prologue is a, a new roguelike that's being messed around with. I haven't tried it yet. Can't remember, the, uh, people have made it, but people have made, like, other things. Hold on. Give me more information from these folks. I wish this game played music while we we're off the screen for it. It's annoying when it doesn't. You're voting specifically for Dark Souls 2. Like I said, that's not actually Dark Souls true. I mistyped. I mistyped. Dream. That should bring it up. Alright, Dreamscaper Prologue. Tell me who made it. It's made by some ex-developers who worked on Gears of War 3, Paragon, NBA 2K. Like, it's... A bunch of people that are fed up with the AAA experience and, and broke off from their respective companies and came together to make a weird little roguelike game. So that's Dreamscaper, just to let you know more about it real quick. Because I realize it is an option that no one's ever heard of. <clears throat> you want to know what's on the wheel? I don't even remember what's on the wheel, to be honest with you. It's just a whole bunch of weird stuff. Man, overwhelmingly, people want that wheel. I'll throw in my vote. I'm going to vote for Neo too. You want to switch your choice to Dreamscaper? I'll pretend that you voted for Dreamscaper. I'll remove one vote in my head from Wheel of Stream and apply it. Dreamscaper. You like when devs fuck off to start their own company? Me too. Usually it means interesting and fun stuff. I'd be curious to check it out. I mean, spoilers, Dreamscaper's on the Wheel of Stream, so I was kind of cheating a little bit. Give myself two chances for it. You vote for Dark Souls 2. It's actually Dark Souls 3. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. If I click on New Run, do I get to equip? Ah, you see? What we unlocked is a thing. Each relic's imbued with the ancient wisdom of the Round Guard. Equipping a relic changes the rules of the game and challenges you to new feats of daring. You'll find more relics if you can make it to the bottom of the dungeon. And if you win with a relic equipped, you have mastered the relic. It'll take true dedication and clever thinking to master them all. I like stuff like that. All right, Mercy. There are more potions and all hero stats are boosted, but all gold sources are reduced. And the one we unlocked, which is Clarity. There are fewer health potions each room, but more mana potions. So great for the wizard. And I imagine like we got this one because we played as the wizard, we could have been the warrior or the rogue to unlock something else. Boo, Chris, boo, don't tell my feelings. What? How am I, st how am I telling my feelings? 
Oh, because uh, Dreamscaper is also in the Wheel of Stream, just to uh, increase my odds. There are three ties? Even if we take two out of Wheel of Stream, that still keeps that... At four, Dark Souls would be at three, and Dreamscape would be at one. Because I'm only moving your vote and Gomper's vote, which brings Wheel of Stream to four. That brings Dark Souls to three, and that brings Dream Scraper, Scraper to one. And I understand, math is hard. Just play Neo. I'll put Neo on the wheel. Creedmoor says no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at what's on the wheel, I don't remember. We still have a few seconds on this. Bring up my wheel, it's been a while since I looked at it. Ba, 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 da, ba. I want to change my vote from Wheel of Steam to Wheel of Steam. Does that change anything? I don't think it does. I think Creedmoor saying no, don't play Neo 2. Hello. Jaboy, how's it going, Jaboy? Hey. I apologize for the lack of music. The, the game doesn't play music while we're in here. All right, so currently on here, we need to remove World of Horror because we've done that one. Dreamscaper. So currently on the wheel, you know what? The vote's over, it's, it's time. It's time to do the wheel proper, so I don't need to talk about this anymore. Goodbye, round guard, you're adorable and I had a lot of fun with you. <laughs>